Hello, it's Andrew here. I'm with the Coronet Herald in the Herald studio and I've got a box here. I'm going to do an unboxing of a new piece of kit that's now available for your Herald. So this is really for the Herald enthusiasts if they want to either upgrade their machine that they've got or if they're planning on buying a Herald, this is the tailstock that will come with the new Herald from now on. Record power are always updating and improving their products they strive for good quality control and as you can see from above we can see there qc pass that means it's gone through the quality control process so what have we got we've got a box with the description on the front there which is the 16228 record power self-ejecting tailstock for the coronet herald so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unbox this and i'll show you from above then you can see what's actually in the box when we unbox it like that, we've got the usual polystyrene packing, which always looks after the product in transit. And then we can take the polystyrene packing out of there. And there we are. We've got the new tailstock here. Looks very similar to the other tailstock. In fact, we'll put them both together. There we go. We'll put them both together on the lathe. And then I'll talk about the difference between the two. So as usual, the materials the, or the product is in a good, strong plastic bag. I'll take it out of here. It might be to degrease. Then again, it may not be. It seems to be okay. And we will put it onto the lathe. Now, what you can see here on the lathe, I've been using this as a bench. And it's ideal because I can take the head off and I can put a board on here. What I've done, I'll just tell you what I'll show you from there if I come down and we do that you can see there there it is it's a bench and I've used the leg system for the bench I'm just going to pop this onto the shelf there you can see that the, the two tailstocks are very very similar to each other in the casting in fact the casting is virtually identical and what you've got you've got one which is a quick release and you've got one which is threaded all the way through this is the original one that was on the herald but this is the update or the accessory that's now available for it so there we are we've got the bench there i had a bit of the router mat on here just to stop stuff from sliding about i was using it for assembling me blues poles and i'll just pop that over here onto there this is just a couple of bits of the uh, paneling that i use for the actual recording studio to make a bench lift it off there and there we go we've got the slide i'll take that off there and then come back to the bench and we can assemble so first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to pop the headstock back onto here make sure that's nice and clean there's no dust there i've got the headstock handy here ready to go onto the lathe there we go and I can just bring that back there, drop that under here so as it engages with the actual bed and just slide it on. There we go. It slides on nice and easy. I'll push it back to the position on there and we'll just take the bar and tighten that down on here. Okay, I have got the head onto the lathe here this is all nice and secure now it's all lined up what i need to do first of all is pop the new tailstock onto the bed of the lathe now when you take it out of the box the new tailstock what you'll notice is that the um the plates on the bottom there are loose right so what we need to do is line it up and do the kiss test and the easiest way to do that is just drop the plate into there, line that up on the square on there, and line that up, and then just push it along to there. Pop your revolving tailstock centre into here, which we've got the revolving tailstock centre. I'll put this is one of the new ones, this one. So take it out beyond 14 millimetres, then it'll engage into the two most taper. Take that across to there and line that up so that's absolutely spot on with the actual drive center on there 
the quill there we are turn it yeah that's absolutely spot on here it's what's called the kiss test i'll show you from above and there we are that's the kiss test there i wonder if i just take my yeah it's just over here i'll grab it this is the board i use to be able to show the tools i'll grab that there and then you can see a better view underneath there so there we are there is the kiss test on there the points need to be exactly in line with each other like that let me zoom in on this a little bit there and that's what's called the kiss test i'm then going to pull the lever around and tighten it in place just nip it up tighten it in place like that and then what we need to do is we need to go down underneath to the actual studs and take the allen stud and just tighten those plates up because they are now in exactly the right position so we tighten them up in there and that means that every time you take off your tail stop and you put it back on you know that when you line up the two you're going to have a perfect kiss test and it'll work beautifully to create a cylinder rather than an oval people often think why have i got an oval shaped piece of wood well it's because you haven't done the kiss test and one of the points is out of line with the other so there we are there's the the actual kiss test done then i've got the um i've got the record power saber 250 next to us here and one of the new little band saws that are available i love it so there we go i'll just show you at the moment record power saber 250 on there um actually that that is just in the road a little bit i'll move that out the road there that's me revolving camera there on me gimbal so there we go there it is now on the back of here there's a little allen key wallet so i keep all my allen keys in there which is dead handy because it's here and it's ready for the lathe as well so i can bring this is this is a, an arm that i had made for one of the cameras i can bring that bring that back around to there so as we can see a closer view here on the work as well so if i go above again kiss test is done and we'll zoom back out again so what's the differences between the two the difference between this particular casting and that casting is very very little apart from the top is longer than the original one so you've got 150 mil six inches you've got 110 mil four and three eighths the travel on this is the actual thread goes in and out that has to be maintained and kept clean so as it'll run smoothly this is encased so technically the maintenance will be less on this but also what you've got is you've got your quick release system here whereby when you wind it back like that i'm just going to move this one back so that i don't catch it when you wind it back like that at 14 millimeters extension it releases the revolving tailstock center so that's five eighths of an inch it releases the revolving tailstock center and that's it you're good to go so the difference between these accessories and this one is for this one you had to use the knocking out bar to be able to take the center out so if we put that on there but can you see on that center there the stem is actually shorter on here so if you were to use this in here what would happen is you would not be able to quick release the actual revolving tailstock center but i'm going to show you a little trick so that you can quick release it just take the skew for example or the parting tool whichever you like the skew or the parting tool probably the parting tool is probably as good as anything it's a bit of thinner steel and again i'll show you from the top right all you need to do is put the parting tool into there wind that back and then you've got a ready-made quick release on here ready-made quick re quick release so you can use that in with your your new tailstock center and all of the other ones so you don't necessarily have to go out and buy yourself a new revolving tailstock center now if you want to use the old one and you want to make it into a quick release as well all you need to do is the same thing so we can wind that under there all we do is just put that into there wind back 
quick release jobs are good there you go the new quick release tailstock to take all of the new accessory revolving centers and we'll take that off there now i'm just going to take the other one off i'll show you how accurate and good it was we can take that off there now and pop it onto my back shelf i'll bring the banjo back on there we go so there's the banjo into position now and i'll just pop the new revolving tailstock center on here i'm going to put the old one into the there we are dead easy to put on pop your center into there either the the new one like that 14 mil five eighths of an inch and then push it towards there lock it wind it on kiss test perfect back to there there we go back to the front there's the new tailstock on the record herald and for all you record hurdle enthusiasts it's just another piece of kit that we like to upgrade our machines with but the main thing you've got to do is maintain your machines look after your machines they'll look after you